Hello everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Getting, uh, getting leveled back up after the wipe, and making sure I get all the dailies done. I'm, of course, going to get the fat loots from the dailies. Today's daily is uh, Trap Siege, defeat a thousand enemies with traps. Now that inspired me to create my Huntress. I ran her through a map with my higher level my higher level squire guess I should show off what else I got going here I've got uh, my squire is my pride and joy at level 46 now nothing to 50 quite yet the problem I've had with my squire is just the worst worst luck with RNG in fact my level 34 monk has better gear than my level 46 squire and that's kind of uh, kind of pathetic but I've gotten just no squire gear I've, I've gotten just garbage I uh, got a decent apprentice set uh, a decent monk set but nothing for the squire quite yet anyway trying to get all these dailies complete so I figured today I'll try a little Dragonfall Bazaar I just created this huntress just uh, to complete the daily haven't really done much. You know, you see she's level 18. Now, I uh, I did let her AFK through a run with my squire. And we are on free play, so it was a little bit too difficult just to jump right in at level 1 with no gear. So, so you're going to go with a little geyser, geyser explosive trap set up. I think I'll have enough. To do a double stack like this on each side. A little uh, out of symmetry there, but that's all right. We'll still get the job done, hopefully. Let's see, and they're gonna do the same thing over here. Same thing here. Not going to be completely symmetrical because of uh, because of the bend there, but that's all right. Let's see how much do I got left? Am I going to be able to complete this on both sides? I wonder. Now, of course, being on the huntress, I've got no flyer defense, which uh, is a little alarming. <laughs> but that's all right because I also hit like a truck compared to uh, the other classes at this level with no gear so the huntress is not going to have a problem with uh, a easy mode free play map defense limit reached alright so that's all I've got so this will be my weak side and I'll make sure to get it up first. Let's go ahead and get things started here. And see, got the flyers coming in already on wave one. Now I've got nothing at all to kill these flyers, so I'm going to have to kill them all myself. Not really a huge deal, but I can't f forget to do it, or uh, they will get up on the cart. And we don't want them to get up on the cart. That's for damn sure. I gotta let these traps do their work to complete my quest, so I can't get too overzealous with the shooting. Wow, that guy took a really wide berth there. Another flyer in the window. Yeah, piece of cake so far. I was sad and excited all at the same time 
when I saw that they were going to force me to play a Huntress to complete the daily quests. To be honest with you, I chose this daily quest by accident. Ooh, got a little jumpy laggy, laggy laggy going on there. I thought it, uh, I didn't read the fine print where it said traps. I was thinking it said defenses. Wow, this lag is going to kill me here. It's been, um, the lag actually hasn't been too bad. It's kind of come and gone. I guess, uh, depending on the server load at the time, probably. There's been uh, a little bit of jumpiness like this from time to time, but... What are you gonna do, you know? You can only uh, restart and reload the game so many times before you get frustrated with that. Alright, so we got one level of ups on our weak side. Jesus. The lag here. The jumpies. The jumpies are driving me nuts. Right now is kind of peak uh, peak gaming hours. It's like 8 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. So uh, everybody that plays on the West Coast is on right now. And that's probably... Um, why getting uh, getting some of the the spikes? Those guys are tough. They always make it through. Those dragon kin are kind of tough too. But the flyers, luckily, are chumps. Should be able to get my quest completed, no problem, anyway. You see the explosive traps make uh, small work of the little guys. Yeah, they are taking a wide path there. If I, next time I do this map, or if I uh, get daring and actually level this, I'm sure I will level this Huntress up. Once I um, get myself into uh, the end game modes, want to get that weak side up all the way as far as I can get it level 18 there we go yeah looking pretty good I should be able to get everything up to at least to level 1 right now. Hopefully. It might help out a little bit with that wide berth they're taking right there too. Well, I can't get everything up, but get most of the way there anyway. Alright, see we've got a boss man coming out of this gate this time, so I'm going to need to worry about that one, whatever it is, and any flyers that come through. Now that everything's upped, the uh, pack should get thinned out quite a bit more. Or not everything, but you know what I'm saying. Damn near everything. Got flyer, yep. Yeah, it was one of those suicide bombers, so he made it. Come on, Plague and Hawk, show your face. There he is.
Oh, this Plague and Hawk is done for. Legendary loot. What have I got? Doesn't matter. Hero health, crit damage, Earth Shatter Tower. That's uh, some magey stuff. Ooh, didn't realize I had baddies up here. Must pay attention. So easy to. Uh, space out and not uh, pay attention to what's going on on some of these easy maps. So, alright, let's get this side finished up and then we'll start going up one more time. Alright, so we're a hundred percent up once. Of course, the first upgrade is the biggest upgrade. Uh, the first one's going to give you an additional 50% damage. Then the second one's an additional 25%, I believe, or something along those lines. So uh, the first upgrade is significant. Now, some of you may be asking why I'm keeping the great control, and that is things have changed a little bit since this most recent version, this new update, where it used to be, <clears throat> pardon me, it used to be where uh, you would not defend the objectives because more mobs meant more experience. That's not the case anymore. Um, the additional bonus experience for keeping the objective on almost every map is going to be better than the experience from the kills. So particularly on the grinder maps, uh, ramparts of course, you want to keep, uh, keep the additional objective intact. any of the uh, Bet Betsy area maps, you want to keep the uh, additional objectives intact as well. Quab must live. Oh yes. Yes he must. For the power leveling. Or not for the power leveling, but for the uh, for the solo leveling it is. Anyway. Level 19, look out! So easy to get through these first few levels. Alright, let's get the weak side gone up a little bit further get the rest of those up and then I think I'll do this side since it's a bit the objective side there we go a couple more flyers coming in hot Now you don't get, uh, obviously you don't get all that much experience off of this map. This is not uh, the map to use for leveling. A lot of people have been using Throne Room. Of course uh, the Betsy XP got nerfed. Or didn't get nerfed, it was just too damn high to begin with. It got taken back to normal. Bunch of them making it through. Out of range for that one. It's all right. I should have my my quest finished after this map, though. I'm pretty sure. Flyers are no match for me. No match at all. I'd love to see a viable uh, hunter 
or Huntress, pardon me, uh, solo build for in-game. That would be a lot of fun. With all the shooty shooty. Ooh, I get the Blaze Balloon. I haven't played with the Blaze Balloons yet. I didn't even play with them in the before the last big patch. That was all about uh, the Squire Monk for me. Now that this, um, you know, of course the game is still pre-alpha, which um, they've put a lot of care into it for it still being a pre-alpha stage. This is going to be a game I'm going to be playing for a while, and I'm assuming a lot of other people will as well. Of course, it's got its haters, it's got its fans. I am definitely one of its fans, without a doubt. You know, most of the time it runs really smooth. We saw the uh, little lag spikes at the beginning of this video. Which they have had those a little bit, but it hasn't been bad. I mean, a little jumpiness on the screen, but it's not like traditional lag where, you know, you shoot and your arrow fires seconds later. It's uh, not that painful. I better let the traps kill some stuff here. I don't want to do this one again. I want this quest to be done with. Ah. Didn't soften them up enough. Ooh, hopefully that wasn't me. I'm not sure if that was me getting the kill or the trap getting the kill that time. Flyers, where did that come from? Must have been a kamikaze bomber I missed there. Now that one should die from the last trap. Oh, he did die, damn it. I think the trap may have got that one. Definitely got to soften up quite a few of the mobs on this map. I maybe should have uh, chose a different map for uh, more, more squishy mobs. Squishy, squishy. Okay, let's see. Last wave. Oh, how close am I? Am I going to have to do this dang thing again? I don't know. Let me see. No, I completed it. I didn't notice uh, the notification that I had completed it up there. Sorry, right, boss man's coming out of this side, so let's go ahead and just uh, dump our remaining into this side to get it all squared away. And there we go, we can close this thing out and call it good. One more daily completed. The dailies are about to reset here uh, pretty quickly, so I'll get some fresh dailies. So uh, I'll jump right on those right away, too. Like I said, I will have my squire to level 50 tonight, so um, you can count on seeing some squire, uh, squire monk builds coming really, really soon. And then, um, of course, going to get my apprentice up next. I've got my monk at a happy place. He's got uh, pretty decent gear. I've got a few of the skill spheres unlocked. Not all of them, obviously. But I've got enough where um, the boost, boost auras are actually a help. And the lightning, for that matter. I don't have them doing mean amounts of damage yet, but they're doing damage, so they're definitely helping me out a little. Alright, here comes Mr. Ogre. Let's see if I can get the Ogre and these flyers in that. Nope, I didn't get that flyer in. I'm going to go ahead and take them out really quick.
I don't really care about the great control now. You know, obviously, uh, the Huntress is not the best uh, solo character to level up, but they do um, they do put out a lot of damage, even right out of the gates. Um, with no gear, they're hitting for like 480 or something like that, so that's pretty decent. And I think that's a uh, legendary bow for me to use for a minute or two before it gets replaced. Come on, give me another legendary. Oh, the green box. I did finally see some legendary boxes. Over the weekend, of course, there was a uh, an event. Yeah, I got the free blue upgrade anyway. There was an event over the weekend that doubled the chance of legendary drops. And I did get quite a few legendaries, but none of them were uh, really exceptional. You know, obviously not in the end game, so I didn't get to take uh, the full advantage. Oh, dang it. I thought that was that weapon. Damn apprentice weapon. Anyway. There we go. So that is going to do it for this episode. So thank you for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Going to be a whole lot more DD2 incoming very, very quickly. Thanks again. See ya.